guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock and root your Galaxy Nexus phone. I just picked up mine today, and obviously the first thing I want to do to it is unlock the bootloader and root it. Why do we need to unlock the bootloader and root the phone? Uh, we will do this so that we can install a custom recovery. Uh, once we have a custom recovery on there, we can install ROMs and customize it the way that we like it. Uh, we can also do things like Root Explorer, which gives us complete control of the, fire, uh, the file systems, and we can do like free Wi-Fi tether and other things of this nature. Um, so the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description. You're going to download and install the USB drivers for Samsung. I have the link there in the description. And then also you're going to want to install the Fastboot files. Uh, that will also be at the link in the, the description. I'm sorry, not Fastboot, but Superboot. This is the easy method for root. This doesn't require any ADB. I sent out a survey on my Twitter, and that's what you guys said you wanted was the easy Superboot method. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. And maybe on down the road we'll do the ADB method. But for today, we're doing Superboot. So you're going to download that Superboot file. It's in a .zip format. You're going to unzip it and drop that on your desktop. Rename it root, R-O-O-T. And when that is complete, you're going to go to Computer, C Drive, and you're going to drop that at the bottom of the list here. Put it directly on the C drive. Make sure that uh, you're not dropping it into any folders. You want that directly on the C drive. And as soon as you have completed that, we're going to, so we're going to put the phone into bootloader, bootloader mode. Just hold both volume up and down at the same time, and then press and hold the power button. As soon as you feel it rumble, let go. Okay, so now we're in bootloader mode, and that's the screen you'll get once you're there. Go ahead and plug in your USB cable. Okay, once that is complete, you can kind of set that down for now. Just kind of set it here out of the way. And uh, we're going to open up a command prompt. So go to start and just search CMD. And that's going to bring up your command prompt. So from there, you're going to type cd space c dot dot and forward slash enter. And now that you're in the C drive, you're going to type cd space root enter. And now you're in the root folder. You're going to type, uh, this is the step that unlocks the bootloader. When you do this, you're going to wipe all your data, so any customization or anything that you may have done to your phone is going to be lost. So you're going to type fastboot, F-A-S-T-B-O-O-T. The written directions are also at the link in the description. And fastboot hyphen or slash, let's see, fastboot hyphen windows space O-E-M unlock. And we just want to double check fastboot. Dash Windows, OEM Unlock, hit Enter. And now it's going to give you the option to unlock the bootloader. Uh, if you unlock your bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software on this phone. Custom OS not subject to the same testing. To prevent unauthorized access, whatever, Shandalanda. Okay, so let's go up with our volume rocker and select Power. It says it may void your warranty. Okay, so you'll look down here, and it says lock state unlocked. So you're now unlocked. So that's the first part. Now we're going to root the phone. Okay, so now we just go back to our C drive. So computer, C drive, back to that root folder. And then we're looking for install Superboot Windows. Uh, there's a Linux and a Mac version there as well. All you have to do to root is just double-click on that. And it's going to go ahead and do the, do its thing and reboot your phone. And this could take a while to reboot, up to five minutes. So I'm going to pause here, and when it reboots, as soon as it reboots, we will uh, come back to this. Okay, guys, so a little word of advice. Do not unplug the USB cable until it's fully booted. Um, I had unplugged the cable before it was fully booted, and I got myself into a boot loop. So I had to totally redo the process. I had to lock down the bootloader and then unlock it and then uh, root it again so now I'm here uh, I'm gonna skip through this sign up I'm not gonna sign in 
Um, and then, let's see, is there any way to skip this? It's just, you know what, I'll go ahead and sign in real quick. Okay, so, <clears throat> once you've booted back up, search for an application called Super User. And, there it is, Super User application is now there, you now have... Uh, you now have root, so let's uh, install an application real quick called Root Checker. Actually, you know what? We have to sign in, so we're not going to do that now, but you are rooted. Uh, you may want to go in there and update the super user APK, but you now have root. Oh, also, make sure that you go to the market and install JRummy's BusyBox installer. Uh, you'll need that along with root uh, to do your root applications. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, the Droid Moder X Show. Check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android phone. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.